yada yada yada. Was, <clears throat> um, the base of Pakistani parlor pipes. Uh, there might be my base note, my A, low A, um, doesn't coincide with the fundamental of my fan for my uh, evaporative uh, cooling system. But the reason why I'm doing this video <coughs> is because um, one of my um, YouTube friends uh, from Ireland um, has purchased a, a number of sets of Pakistani parlor pipes. And he also got some bagpipes galore drone reeds. So um, I've messed around with these reeds a lot. And I was fortunate to find one reed that still is set up. Now it probably doesn't work. Um, yeah, it's, it's too set up. But I know from the position of the bridle that this was a reed for a tenor drone. So, uh, let me get, scoot up and get a little bit closer here. So I don't know if the fan is messing up the fundamentals, if you can hear it. Oh, and I forgot something else. There. Hi. I had to move the microphone closer to me because, um... I didn't want to pick up the chanter too much because I like the drone sound of my reeds. And we're talking about drone reeds anyway. So anyway, um, this drone reed, I don't know if I really want to mess with this one, but it's actually perfect. Um, because uh, the Soprano, my Soprano Pakistani parlor pipes um, started giving me trouble. And uh, from my experience with Pakistani, Pakistani um, drones. Uh, if any, and if any of the drones is going to give you trouble, trouble, it's the center one, because it's the closest to your to your blowpipe. Yeah, so that's a fact. And now you guys know that I smoke, and so this might only pertain to. Um, other people that smoke or vape or whatever because I don't know what the 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 chemicals are in vaping so what happened was um, my center tenor drone on my um, the soprano pipes just I could not when I played that really long set um, I was having a hard time getting it to the center drone to settle now the peculiarity of that set of pipes is I for because the reeds are so closed so far uh, there you go that it's you can't shut them off unless you have a plug and I don't have any plugs so I, I probably some Ulin pipe plugs would work but I don't know where you can buy just the plugs so <clears throat> Anyway, this, let it focus, is a, the tenor reed and the bass reed, they're identical and somehow in an alternate universe, I got the impression that there was a bass reed and, and uh, uh, that was longer and had longer blades. But, <coughs> <coughs> I'm almost done with that stupid scritch in my throat plus I've been practicing a lot today because I'm going to be doing open mic tonight so anyway um, with this particular read you can see um, it's all hemped up and everything like that and I have another read it's my last spare read and it's set up for a base so for the bass drum but you can see how it is now that little black dot that you see uh, I'm 
I hate tearing things apart that are mostly going to work. So, there's that. So, here's the trick with these reeds. If you see that little dot, the black dot, that's from the drone blade actually gets anchored by a pin on on the drone body and so the drone blades all have <coughs> a little hole there which holds the pin in place so when you're when you're first the first time you're setting up these reeds here's the trick everything's backwards so you hold down the blade from this side and you do because the reed is tapered from this side <coughs> and you put you <laughs> You have a little tiny rubber band. You do everything from the back, from the staple side of the reed. Because what will happen if you try to install these bridles from this side going that way, your drone blade will always kink. Now, I have... A whole bunch of drone blades so it shouldn't matter but why waste a perfectly good drone reed when you don't have to so you see that and there's um, hmm move this up a little bit I'm gonna do it on this other reed here so you move everything from the staple side which is that part right there the staple and you hold everything else down with your thumb so when you're installing the reeds move this now see I moved it and focus but you do everything from that end so that you don't end up kinking there you go or I go the blade because if you do it from the tone hole side you can see the tone hole right there it that the blade will buckle always trust me done there been that uh, being stubborn being in a hurry everything like that trying to be expedient because sometimes these bright bridles they deteriorate and they become loose and then it's you get the same tunability problems so you always do everything from the staple side and if you can see there's a ridge where it's round right there just there and then there, there's the pin to hold it you can, let's see if I can get the light right so you have that if you do everything from that side from the staple side you won't kink your your drone blades but there is something else I discovered these blade drones are really sensitive if you're a smoker or a vapor or whatever these drones are really sensitive to um, uh, tobacco smoke smoke tar it, which was what happened with my uh, soprano set of pipes and so what you end up having to do is you dismantle the 
the drone read and if you're careful you can save the blade um being i, I don't know i'm uh 32 percent scottish i'm trying to be thrifty and save a, a piece of plastic this about as worth as much as my pinky fingernail so anyway so what happens is over time and I don't know if this will show and it won't well you can barely barely see um, there's a line from uh, tobacco smoke on there and it's slightly yellowed everything like that well, what happens is the tar is is slightly tacky which you won't really notice um, here well, this read savable oh, let's see that little brown dot is from tobacco smoke right there because and you can see where the bridle sat that's the that's the pin hole that's from tobacco smoke if I flip it over um, you still have the bridle thing but you don't have the so just so anybody who smokes and I'm positive that the same problems happen with um, great highland pipes if you smoke so yeah It works better on a dollar bill. Wait, this reads really old. And it's slightly buckled, but you won't be able to see that. This camera doesn't have the resolution. resolution. But you can see where it was tuned at. So hypothetically let's see you got the in these blades once you use them they are not reversible you can't flip them over and retune and reset because they break just done there been that uh, lots of times and not being smart enough to realize oh yeah that's right it didn't work last time So, here's how you do it. To put these together, I know this isn't the best. So you take the reed, it's below the ridge, and you're on the pin. As long as that's down, see that? It slides right over without kinking the uh, drone blade. Now keep this, when you do this, you keep the drone blade up here near the top because you still got one more rubber band bridle to go in. Because I have hemp on this one. Uh -oh. <laughs> okay. Well. Uh I'm just trying to be thrifty here. So if you have thumbnails, there we go. And I almost ruined the drone blade. There. So we're back over the pin. Sorry. There. I 
had to do try to get this over that. You always press the blade down with whatever your favorite finger is. And it slides right over. I don't know if you guys saw that. But this anchor, this little rubber band anchors the whole blade. And you put that over the, the pin. Now, there it is. Now, this blade probably could be used again. But if you ever have to, if you ever have to clean the drone blade, you know, clean the the drone body also. And now that I have to rehamp all of this because I ruined it. Well, not ruined it. So that's just a FYI. Don't don't try to install install the the drone blades from the tone side always do it from the hemp side and this blade should be brittle and let's see it's not quite at the where it was at before there we go I can feel that see how it changes the tone these blades you can move the tiniest fraction of a millimeter or an inch or whatever and it will change the pitch and if they're slightly off off kilter if they're not even the the drone blade the, the reed will have trouble finding where it wants to to blow tone at so it's really important that everything's parallel otherwise you're gonna have you're gonna fight be fighting with your drones for all over the place now um, I know I played that long set of uh, the other day of you know all my my busking stuff well I was having trouble with the center drone read <coughs> so what I did is I cleaned the drone blade in a little bit because I knew exactly well, once I looked at the drone blade, because it's kind of frustrating um, when you're you're playing, you've played the pipes for a long time and you haven't had to mess with them or anything like that, and then all of a sudden something goes wrong. You keep trying to attune and adjust because you're you're just so into to playing or practicing that it doesn't immediately occur to you that oh something's wrong with the drone blades or something like that. Um, I would bet that that happens a lot to, to people who are brand new with um, yeah this is ugly so so like a dummy I I didn't play my soprano pipes because they're over there resting because I played them for about three or four hours yesterday um, and so there it is um i hope that helps anybody else out with the the bagpipes galore drone reads um their bagpipes galore is really easy with these things and they've been really tolerant with me as far as uh stuff rinky dink stuff i haven't bought anything really big from them because it, i've been when i go through these dry spells where I've got projects that I'm doing with my cars or something else or um, I overspent money on, on going out for food and I need to rehemp these because I've been playing them so much they're getting a little bit too tight in the drone stocks and I don't want to blow crack a, a drone stock so anyway, there it is. Uh, thanks for watching.
Oh, I'm going to be doing an open mic tonight. Um, which uh, won't be until... It's, it starts at 7 and ends at about 11. So I'll show up at about 8 or when the sun starts to come down. Because I'll warm up outside and it's been in the 90s. And 90 degrees Fahrenheit. And, it, well, it, that's just the way it is here in Utah. that helps out somebody and uh, I'm tempted to do another long dry room thing with those pipes just to show that they can be played over an extended period of time and yeah I I have no delusions of grandeur <coughs> and I, at first the first time I listened to it it was way fast, herky-jerky, and not very, very. And so I listened through it a couple of times, and I kind of got used to it. So I'm not proud of, of it, but... Oh, well, I already posted it, so I'm stuck with it. I, I, I went through a phase when my foot first got hurt, um, where, uh, well, I almost deleted everything and quit posting on YouTube and, and, and trust me I, I was going through a rough time not working I, I'm addicted to work and, and so I wasn't working and I was trying to post and and do other stuff I did a couple of road trips um, just so that I didn't so I could stay in touch with people and not be stuck at home but because I have my my critters um, I'm limited to a maximum of five days. Now I have a neighbor that helps me out uh, with that, but the I, my cats, oh my gosh! Yeah, when I get back home, they they won't leave me alone. When I do a road trip, and they're they're right underfoot for about three days after that, because they're like, "Don't oh, where'd you go? Don't leave us!" Da, da, da. And so I'm their third owner. So I am, uh, you know, and my little black cat, Xena, the one that always comes up in my lap, she's so attached to me now that if I, if I am outside of my pattern, she lets me know. She's like, well, is everything okay? You're not leaving me, this, that, and the other. It's the body language, and I'm a cat person, so... Uh, yeah, people who are horse people will understand what horse people language is, and 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 sheep and donkeys and whatever. That's just the way they are. They're attached to me. I'm their third owner. I plan to be their last owner. And I'm rambling again. So um, anyway, thanks for watching. Um, I have uh, one or two new subscribers, and thank you for subscribing. And the rest of you guys who are have stuck with me through uh, good and bad and upside down and inside out, um, thanks for watching. And uh, call your friends and say, hey man, there's this weird guy that plays weird bagpipes on YouTube. So there it is. And wish me luck with my open mic. It's uh, probably going to go a little bit better. 
I'm, I have a couple sets that I'm working on, but it takes me forever to work on sets. So, because, well, I'm not a natural piper. Uh, uh, I don't have any natural talent. Everything I've done is I've had to work like crazy just to be the bottom end of mo mediocre. But I still like the pipes. There it is. Thanks for watching. And um, see you out there, maybe. Bye.